Zero. Hey, hey. everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey Ma. <laughs> I want to start the day off uh, wishing a uh, happy birthday to a very, very good friend and like family. Elvis Encyclopedia. <laughs> Tom Kirby. Mr. Tom Kirby. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Tom. Tom. Happy birthday, Tom. And to our grandson. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Joe's great grandson and my Teresa's grandson. Derek, great great grandson. Derek. Little Derek Mack. He's, Little he's actually named after his papa, Danny Mack. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm glad you, I, I don't know why. I just, but, okay. uh, and with that, we bid you an affectionate yeah. We always say. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do we always say? <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, well. All right, home for the silly. Right. Yeah. 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 So, uh, That's what Elvis used to say, home for the silly. As we gather here. We're talking. Well, matter of <laughs> fact, Molly, you were saying something uh, that it reminds you of when we was talking about wishing the birthday. Yeah, birthday. I mean, that was, that was <clears throat> 30 seconds ago. She's done forgot. Uh, <laughs> no. hey, well, they didn't start it. Start it. No, we I were, forgot to. No, you, uh, knowing how Elvis was about if he thought you wanted him to do something well he would not well he do would it. do it but i mean a lot of times if he thought like uh wanted to get him over to somebody's house or do something like that he would always you know lay back not doing it so red and uh, all the guys red west and all the guys came up with having a surprise birthday party for him and it was right after christmas and everything they, and um he uh he was trying to get him you know had asked him well you do you think we could do this or come over more? Nah. So they got Elvis was always a drama, <laughs> love drama. Uh, if he was the one doing it, he didn't like anybody else to. But um, Red um, got this scheme up, and they decided how they would get Elvis over to Red's house. Everybody, all the guys and their wives and everybody went over to Red's and Pat's house. Uh, they lived in a, where was that Otisdale subdivision, <laughs> and um, they decided to, everybody went over there, and so they were trying to figure out how to get Elvis to come over there. And they tried several things and it didn't work, so they figured they would do something really drastic. <laughs> so they had one of the guys call to Graceland and tell Elvis that Red had shot himself in the foot. Well, my God, that I don't even think Elvis hung the phone up. <laughs> He had to get over there to see it and find out about it and do all that. Cause, cause, so they um, wrapped Red's foot up with a bandage and poured ketchup all over it. He he was, had a cane or something hopping around when Elvis got there. Now you pick it up from there and tell it. Well, I forgot what he did. They done. drove up. <laughs> they drove up yeah. and um, he came in and he went, had his flashlight, you know, because he carried yeah. that flashlight, getting ready to shine it to see. And Red came out hopping with the blood all well, over. What him. happened? What happened? Yeah, what happened? What'd you do? And everybody jumped out and you know said, "Surprise, happy birthday!" And that just, oh well, you know, he of course he loved it, but he couldn't act like he really did because he. That's one thing that he we got away with doing that he didn't know that was coming about because Elvis was um, the worst person in the world to keep a secret. <laughs> he could not keep secrets. <laughs> On his birthday, you know, if you pull something like that for him, yeah, you know, was, that was a uh, good thing. Uh, <laughs> one, one good, you know, I'll show you an example. We was out in California and uh, filming, uh, I believe it was clam, the clam bake or no bake or something. <laughs> and uh, anyway, this easy bake we had, <laughs> 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 easy bake, <laughs> but anyway, uh. We had poor jokes on, I guess, everybody out there, you know, the crew and everything else. The only person we hadn't pulled anything on was the uh, director, uh, and his name was Arthur Nadell. And so they had the final, uh, as a get together, you know, like a big, you know, banquet thing, and uh, it was uh, Arthur Nadell's birthday. <coughs> So we all, you know, we eat and mingle around and talking to everybody. And so Elvis said, come here. He said, let's get his cake. We'll light it, light the candles on it, and then we'll sing happy birthday to him. And so we picked it up and 
we got on there and he said, now, we'll sing happy birthday. So we started singing happy birthday. And when we got to him, he said, happy birthday, Arthur. And boop, with a cake right on top of his head. <laughs> 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 and, the cake. Boy, I thought, oh yeah. Because yeah, he but, was kind of a drive. He didn't yeah, yeah, he he much. And, and his, he got up and he said, he said, I'm gonna tell y'all something. He said, of all things, he said, my feelings would have been hurt. He said, because y'all played jokes on everybody here. He said, if you hadn't played one on me, I don't know what I did. <laughs> but that's how I hope it was, you know. Hey, let me just I already know the answer to this now. What if it's kind of flipped? And one of y'all have done that to Elvis. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey. You wanted to live, didn't you? You should have been fired, man. That's, that's like pouring water on him yeah, yeah. or anything else. Yeah. You didn't do that. Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking about the water balloons. I'm talking about like the water. No, I'm talking about the water. I'm talking about like the water. When he went up. to the concession stand, remember it? Yeah. 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 Remember yeah. the theater? He yeah. poured water all over you and me. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. Dash. Dash it back out of his cup. Yeah, yeah. but the, the, how I got into it is you switch seats. We sit right behind <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> we, we sit right behind Elvis at the movies, and he would turn around and talk. Well, when they came back down to sit down, and we went back down from the concession, Billy said, "Well, here, sit here." And I, I, you know, okay, I did. So I was sitting there, and all of a sudden, right in my, and I went, oh, and he went, oh. God, you know what? <laughs> I thought you were Billy, and I said, well, I'm not. And he, he just drenched me with Billy. And Billy was dying last and I was like, Oop. But anyway, well, I started, I try to get him back, and yeah. so I got a cup of water, and it was a balcony. Yeah. And that, you know, you come up the hallway, and I was, you know, the balcony. Wait until he I, walk, started to walk back down. He was going to the bathroom, and I said, oh, goody. <laughs> so when he come by, I just leaned over and poured that water on it, and he just stopped me, looked up, and he said, I hate you, you little son of a love me. Old man. <laughs> I said, no pay for that. There's no payback. I was, don't pay back. I was surprised that I wasn't fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't have been the first time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I thought fire was a daily routine for a while. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Just, just depended on the mood. Yeah, it did a whole lot. But anyway, he was a, he could take a joke pretty darn good. He, but if it wasn't too, you know, <laughs> too way out there, he, I know his uh, crazy times. Yeah, we were talking earlier. Uh, what was, what was it? Uh, was it New Year's or something? I know you had, we talked a while back, and uh, that story come up hot going when y'all went over to the lacquers. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Elvis, uh -huh. was, what, Elvis had been. I mean, uh -huh. we had been asking, or, or I hadn't. Uh -huh. All the guy had been asking uh, about the New Year's Eve party because he normally had one, and he said, "I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to stay home. I'm not going to do anything this year." So everybody said, "Well, there was always somebody on duty at Graceland in case he needed something." But the ones that were off, we just decided. Marty said, "Well." We'll just have a New Year's Eve party at my house. So they lived over on, was it Santa Barbara? Yeah, they I think so. On, Santa Barbara. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. so they got everything. Everybody carried something. Marty and Patsy uh, hosted the party, and we all went over there. And so we were over there about, what, two hours? About a couple hours. We yeah. heard this banging on the door. <laughs> and Marty went to the door and opened it up. It was Elvis. <laughs> Where'd y'all think I was? <laughs> Well, well, you you have a party, no. Yeah, what do you mean having a party? You're not telling me. But anyway, at the party, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell it. Okay. Go uh, ahead. Richard Davis had this idea. He said, Let's, uh, I got an idea. He said, and Richard and Billy were always up to some kind of mischief. But um, Richard got this Pall Mall cigarette and he tore the end off and he twisted it up. Well, he actually had. Two or three. Yeah, half. had them in his pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just yeah. Stuck them loose in his pocket. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Okay, everybody, circle up. We're gonna get this party live really up. Live We're gonna live it up. up." He said, "Everybody, circle up on the floor." So everybody went and sat around on the floor, and he lit up, and it looked, you know, like what it looked like. <laughs> and he would take a puff, and oh, he would, and pass it. Next person would take a puff, pass it. Actually, two or three. 
got so high off of that powder. Yeah, they thinking it was, thinking it was marijuana. <laughs> that it was, yeah, they thought it was. And it was nothing. That just goes to show you that, you know, mind over, over matter. But um, he laughed his butt off about that. Because like, <laughs> it was nothing to it. It was <laughs> just a cigarette with a yeah, twist. Yeah. That's funny. Man. But that was funny. Yeah, I mean, that's. Now, we pulled all kind of stuff. Man. Yeah, right, I know. Believe me, I think we fulfilled four or five lifetimes just in that yeah. time with Elvis. Man. Oh, yeah. Well, and it, but you know, and it, never a dull moment. No, never and, a, and it, but even after. I mean, our whole lives, because your mom, that's where, I mean, it's still today. Uh, we, I mean, I couldn't imagine any other life besides playing tricks and booing mm -hmm. and all. Uh, give y'all an example. Just last night, uh, we were sitting and we have a little dice game that we play called Greedy. <laughs> And uh, I had some barbecue Pringles, and I was eating them, and Daddy was sitting beside me, and I so eat a couple, and I got down to one there and a drink. I think it was my turn to roll the dice or whatever. And anyway, <laughs> and then he rolled, and then after that, and then he goes, is, is that, that ain't your chip there, is it? And I said, yeah, that's my last one. And he went, <laughs> <laughs> now you got a bunch of them. So anyway, that's the, kind of, that's the kind of stuff we always grew up with. Yeah. I still owe you for that one too. So. But you know, it's like I always said, we we felt like we were living with Peter Pan. Not <laughs> we never grew up. Yeah. So. Man, still had. No, I still had. Well, I grew up in a, in a dear two or three. Yeah. Our seventy-seven. Oh, Lord. 